Wow, there we are. It says we're live. We are live. We are live. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll see how long the lag is. Right. That's what I'm waiting because it's saying waiting for Patty. Oh, there. It was only about. Yeah, right. I got the notice, but it hasn't popped up yet. My iPad is so slow. It's really trippy. Oh, well, mine's ancient. Yeah, see, I'm still not a lot. I mean, it told me I am, but it hasn't popped up yet. But that's okay. That's okay. So I found a new way to do this. Oh, I'm like, look at this. She's got syringes now. Oh you know what it does, though? It keeps me, like, under control because I'm not pouring so much that I can't get them poured in the um, the tiny places before it starts right. setting up. So, so did you put in, write an A on one and a B on one? Because when they're empty, you won't know which one is which. Well, actually, I thought about that, but I did not because if you notice, it stays brown in the tip. Okay. I hope so. See? See? Yes. So, and um, these are pretty inexpensive. So I feel like if I um, only use them like one sitting, I'm okay with that. Okay. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Hi, Nikki. Hi, Louise. Hi, Luz. There you go. Hey, Tamar. You guys are awesome. I don't see Tamar yet. There she is. Hi, Tamar. Mine is slow. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I have new mold. I ran to town. I called um, the lady because you guys know me in my instant gratification situation, right? So I called her and I was like, hey, Melissa, do you have IOD molds? And she was like, well, yes, Patty, I do. So I ran in and I got some. I thought, oh, I'll grab two or three. Yeah, no. Um, so I grabbed some, came home, and I've been pouring resin ever since. Um, wait till you guys see some of these. They are amazing. Uh, just, they're so awesome, you guys. So awesome. How you doing, Nikki? Oh, Patty, I like the birds. I yeah. know, right? They're so pretty. And in case anyone doesn't recognize my voice yet, it is me, Laurel, the other obnoxious one. Oh, yeah. By the way, I have company, you guys. Laurel's here. Hi, Julia. Yeah, I'm in full mode. Like, I don't know. She's like, so when we go on, do you want me to just put it on you? I'm like, <laughs> by all means, because I'll be lucky if I even get to talk. So we're all good. <laughs> but I, I have perfected a pouring method for me. When I got this stuff from Nikki, remember she sent me these cups and I really like them. But because they're big, I keep wanting to pour more. And these molds, this, the, the actual mold itself, each individual item, I guess, they're, I don't know, I get too ambitious, I think, with my amount of liquid and how quick I can get it poured out before it starts setting up. So then I get frustrated because I'm throwing some away. So I had a whole huge sleeve of these and these are like, what are these? Four ounce? Yeah, these are the four ounce. So then I was rooting around and I found these syringes that I had. So as long as I'm pulling up even amounts, it doesn't matter if it's a teaspoon or a cup. So I'm just pulling up to the, you know, the full syringe, the 10 cc's on these for each one and mixing them up in these and then pouring them out. And it's working perfectly. Do you remember who Artsology is? Because I don't. Is it? Hi, Artsology, sorry. I want to say Debbie, but I don't know if that's right. Is that right? Is it Debbie? I'm sure she'll tell us in a minute, but she says, hi, all. Hey. Hey, Julia. Look at you guys. You guys are all awesome. So while those are curing, and before I mix up more, this is another new one. This is Butterflies and Moths. Yeah, I can't wait till we get to that one. I know, right? They're so pretty. And then I got this one. It's a trimmings. This is It's either trimmings, what I wrote on it, I think. Yeah, this is trimmings, too. So I got this one. You are correct. It is Deb. Wow. Nice. Yay. Debbie, you don't realize how phenomenal that really is because I am the worst at names. The worst. This one is trimmings one. 
Isn't that one pretty? And I've poured all of these, so I can show you guys all this stuff if you want, or we can just pour them. And then there's this one. I love this one. And can we tell people where you can get not maybe these exact ones, but wonderful molds like this? We sure can't wait. Yes. Yes. Because you remember yesterday I learned a new trick, right? So hang tight. Look at this. Nikki and Crystal are so awesome. They did this for you guys. Because I told her, I said, I'm almost out of resin. I need to order more resin. <laughs> and that started a whole conversation. And I'm like, I'm coming on. I'm going to pour. And she was like, wait, wait, let me do this for the girls. <laughs> and yeah, she, she, it's just Deb, not Debbie. But you were, that was good. You were, you were on the right track. Awesome. 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 I know, Louise. I think I deserve like a really cool chocolate chunk chocolate frosted brownie or something right i mean i don't think we have to have like a full tilt party but i think i deserve like a prize for that because that never happens nikki I, like, oh, oh, awesome. I love the ticker it's so cool <laughs> hey donna <laughs> hi donna so yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so special. She used my name. I was like a little kid. It was like, yay. <laughs> it was almost embarrassing, but I was like, oh, that's really cool. <laughs> so there's that. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, I am so beyond. Let me move these so I don't spill them. I'll yeah, show I'm you. I'm not going to tell you what I'm eating right now that I got from one of my kids today. Then. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You talk about a spoiled bus driver, you guys. <laughs> OMG, Belgian chocolate. Seriously? Yeah. Well, right now I'm eating Frango Mints. <laughs> nice. Look at this one. This is out of one of the trimmings ones. Isn't – you guys see the, the layers and the yeah. detail? These – I can't wait to start painting these. Oh my goodness, Patty. You have been a pouring lunatic. I've been a little busy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Just, just a little. Look at this one. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I was up to like 5.30 or 6 this morning. I had company. <laughs> Somebody reached out and said, hey, you want to chat? And I was like, sure. So... Yeah, I had company while I was pouring last night. It was fun. We'll see if she announces it. I don't want to, unless she does. She's here in the chat. Look at this one. This one's really hard to get all the detail in, but it's got like, this one looks so Grecian to me. It's not going to focus. Oh, we can see it. Oh, she's beyond addicted, Nikki. Oh, it's, yeah, I have like a whole new little addiction here. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? I just, I just absolutely, now I'm losing track of which ones I've showed you. There's that one. Oh my gosh. And the lady where I got these, she has um, the DIY paints and like the waxes, like furniture. It's mainly for furniture, but there's like some other little cool, fun that I think is going to be really cool on me. So when I start painting these, I'm going to pull that stuff out and we'll play with it and see how it. Hi, Jean. It's not Michelle. It's Laurel. Yep. It's Laurel. Hey, Jean, how are you? And Donna I know says, not you guys. I'm sorry. Donna I'm says, sorry. What are you going to do with these pieces? You know, some of them are going to go on furniture because I do a lot of painted furniture when I go to market. So I'm thinking, um, these will be really cool to run across um, like drawer fronts and stuff. Um, like the planer ones, I think these will be really, really nice on. Um, and I'm totally like already messing around with how to put these on journal covers. Look at this, I love the rope, it's so simple. And what else? Cause we're waiting to hear something else. I'm not gonna say, but I know you'll say. I don't know. I just went blank. What? I can't say. I can't say it out loud. I don't know. We'll have to see if it comes to me. <laughs> I just went, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in a private chat real quick. Okay. 
Aren't those cool? I just, I love these, you guys. The detail in these is just amazing. Amazing. Okay. Jean agrees with Donna. Awesome. Yes, exactly. The spines. Yes. Wait, let me grab a book and I'll show you. Hi, Dana. Did you read my site, my private? Not yet. I'll get there in one second. All right. So keep coming. So like, here's, here's one that I just, I mean, um, there's just like signatures gathered. But anyway, look at how perfect this is going to sit. Isn't that going to be pretty? Yes. So this one measures. Hi, Debbie. Right at an inch and a quarter wide. So like if you had an inch and a half spine, this one would be perfect because it's going to give you an eighth of an inch on either side. So it's not going to impede, you know, the covers opening and closing. This one is just a smidge wider, but I, and this one, it just pours a little bit shorter because of where it's at on, but it's like perfect for, I forget how long this one is. This one's eight inches. So like if you do an eight inch book, you don't even have to soften this one to cut it and trim it down. Hey, Nikki, can you, um, can you go over the, how we would cut down the longer ones? Do we just heat them up and then we can cut them with scissors? Do we use, how do you get like a clean so that it doesn't like stretch or get funky? You know what I mean? So you can just get like a, like a butter and a butter knife situation where you can just cut right through it. Hey, Debbie, how do you get, how do we do that? That's what I want to know. And I do not have my heat gun up here, so we won't be doing that tonight. But um, I do want to practice with cutting them and, um, like heating them and shaping them and things like after they've been hard. I want to, I want to play around with that. Louise says you can put them on cigar boxes. There, I got it in Louise. <laughs> oh, cigar boxes. Yeah, that would be cute. Super cute, actually. Oh my gosh. What about some of like the old, remember how silverware used to come in those really cool wooden big boxes and they would store all the like silver silverware in those and we see them at thrift stores all the time wouldn't it be cool to take these and trim those out paint and make them into like jewelry boxes really yeah. really pretty fancy um, nikki says i would do it right when it finishes curing then cut well yeah but like i've already got all of these so yes you can heat them then cut them patty Right, but would you use like, because I'm thinking I want to grab the hacksaw. No, like a good, almost like what you would use to cut tin or a good Tim Holtz scissors. Right. You no, know, a strong, sturdy pair of scissors. After you soften them. Yes, and Tamara said, what would you sell a few? Will I do what, honey? Tamara wants to know if you're going to be selling any of them. I am, and just so you guys, not tonight though, not tonight. Um because you guys were asking last time and um i'm 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 packaging oh my guys. goodness yeah i've already poured look at these birds you guys i've already poured birds and i've got them packaged for you i've done the scrolls and i'm working really really hard you guys to keep these super super affordable like um, I'm doing a key and a, and a plate in each one. And these are going to be like two bucks a pack. Um, just because I'm having so much fun and it's ridiculous. No, we, could, we couldn't tell. Oh my gosh. It's like, I can't even tell you guys how much fun this is. Like these butterflies are going to be like two bucks. Um, the, like these packs of two will be two bucks, but there's nothing that's going to be more than five. Like these pair of the scrolls, these will be five. Um, so yeah. And I'm just trying to get them, you know, organized for you guys. He's like, I'll take one of each now. LOL. <laughs> We're going to do them tomorrow. We're going to do them tomorrow. And I'm trying really hard to have them packaged and I'm going to be super organized and have little lunch bags and I'll write everybody's name on a lunch bag and I'll line them up here in front of me. And then I can just drop them in. I can just write, I don't have to write your names on each one. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah, I'm going to do it That's that like, way. Awesome. Wow. I want some now, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be, yeah, we'll do them tomorrow. Um, Cause then I'll have like, 
I'll know how many I have of each one and all that kind of stuff. Because right now, I mean, I've got them bagged, but, you know, we'd have to fuss around getting them all sorted. And I got everything all sprawled out right now. So tomorrow I will be way more organized about it. Um, I'm not shocked because I'm up many a weekends, many, many hours with Patty on her rabbit trail. So I already know how she gets when it comes to doing that. <laughs> Angela. Hey. hey, Kristen. I don't see Angela yet, but I see Kristen. Um, I did not sleep last night. I slept this morning. Not going to lie. I slept this morning. Hi, um, Angela. Yeah, Louise, you know, Louise and I had a little um, chat. And, oh, my gosh, we are cooking up such a surprise for you guys. You just wait till New Year, after the New um, Year. Daddy, can I interrupt you for a second? Of course. You're going to have to. seconds. Every 20 seconds, I want you to like breathe for a minute just so I can say hi to the people coming in. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm Christian. laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn the ticker off because it's annoying me now. So remind me to put it back up in a little okay. while. Um, but yeah, I just, you guys, I don't even know. So I asked Nikki if you guys went and shopped last time after we came on and played, and she said that some of you for sure did. I want to know who got their stuff and who's been pouring and who's been playing. That's what I want to know. I am excited. It's so much fun to just come on and hang out and play with you guys. Patricia would like, because she must have just came in and missed all that. So can you explain to people all the wonderful things these can be used for? Hi, Linda. So look at the, well, I'm envisioning, I want to use these on covers because they're not that thick. I mean, when you think about all the things people put on covers, these aren't even a half, like the head is the thickest part that's just under a half an inch. Um, I, I have no problem using these on covers and I think they're gonna be beautiful. And I'm also planning on using them. Um, I'm not really big, I'm not, I've not done a lot of mixed media, but I wanna find like, you know, like when you go to the thrift store or antique stores or whatever, and you see all these oil paintings that nobody wants anymore. I want to like, I don't know, I have this idea in my head, like just gesso out some of it, you know, take gesso and like the parts that, you know, don't really interest you or whatever, and then come back in with some of this stuff and do like a mixed media thing with still some of the original canvas there. If that makes, and I don't even know if it's going to look good, if it's just going to look like crap. I don't know. But I just want to play with it and see what it does. Kind of like assemblage, but still sell. And I think that's where I'm headed, actually, is like a like an assemblage salvage piece. Still maintaining some of the original canvas. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, Jackie. Yeah, it is resin. It's... um. This is what it, oh shoot, I gotta make Nikki a mod. Nikki, where did you go? Cause I want her to type in, um, there we go. Nikki, you're blue now, if you'll type. Nikki can put in the link for the store. Um, this is their online store and Disorganized Crafter is who we're, who's who we're calling Nikki guys. Um, but yeah, they have, this is the resin they carry. Wait, let me tip it, there it goes. It's Aluma Res. And they have it over there and you can get it in different colors. Like mine comes with the brown and a clear, like I've used so much, you almost can't see the liquid anymore. Oh, here it is. Duh. Um, I get a brown and a clear and then I get this pretty tan color. Um, they have where your A and B are, they're both brown then, right, Nikki? And then they pour black and then you can get, I think, where both A and B parts are clear and then it pours white correct okay cool i feel like i'm missing everything yeah i yeah, I'll let you know if anybody has any questions they're all just like everybody's annoying you're talking about a mile a minute so they're, they're <laughs> the same way my mind is moving about 100 miles an hour right now um so if i'm coming across really obnoxious i i will apologize um but it's just, when I'm sitting here making these like alone, I have a pad of paper sitting over here and I'm writing every idea that comes in my head, I have to write it down because otherwise I drive myself crazy trying to remember them all. But it's like, 
it just it just doesn't quit. There you go. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Yeah, and Nikki, she I just think it's super cool. All you guys get that coupon code, and it's good till what'd you say? Friday night. I think she said midnight Friday, if I remember right. But then look how fast these set up, you guys. Hi, Jody. And look at all the little feathers in there. They're just so cute. But you see every single little feathers. And I would advise for sure, the first time, remember the first time I came on? Some of you remember that I didn't have the gloves on. You want gloves. Um, yeah. I had no fingerprints for a week. And it's not because you get your fingers in the actual liquid. They kind of seem like they sweat. Well, <clears throat> considering I had not, my obnoxiousness right now, I don't have the patience for them to totally cure like I think they're probably supposed to. So when I pull them out, they tend to be a little damp still. So I think that's where I'm picking up the resin on my fingers. I'd like to say that I think the molds and the resin sweat a little, but I think it's because I get in a hurry pulling them out is really what I think it is. But aren't they pretty? Mm -hmm. And you wind up with this whole little, you wind up with this whole little flock. So should we do butterflies? Yes. Okay. Listen to Laurel. Yes. Yes. Butterflies. Okay. And like I said, this, I just decided this was the best way for me to, I pour some of the clear out in here and I pour some of the B. So this is my A, this is my B. And I just, I'm using the syringes because it keeps me under control. I don't um, try to mix up three ounces at one time because when I'm using the bigger pouring cups, I will, and you don't want to do that for sure. You have to keep them. I made bubbles. Sorry, guys. It really was the resin, I promise. So, oh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm breathing. <sighs> Linda would like to know where you got the birds from. I don't, I'm not sure if Nikki has those in the store or not. She can tell you that. I'm not, I don't know exactly where Patty got which ones. So, there's a lady in town that has um, an antique store um, and she carries a lot. Well, it's an antique vintage store. She does amazing work um, with um, altering furniture, painting, refinishing, things like that. Um, and she has started carrying all the DIY stuff and the iron, a lot of the iron orchid stuff. So I got them there. So, but they're, they're IOD, which is iron orchid designs. I love the dragonflies too. Yep. And Nikki has some of them over in the stores. I don't remember which ones Nikki has, but if you guys just say, Hey, Nikki in the chat, she can tell you which ones they have or don't have, and maybe she can order them if enough of us want them. Not to put you on the spot or anything, Nikki, but you know, we want stuff. We like stuff. I do know Nikki has a lot of that. Remember when I was playing with the art alchemy waxes and things like that? Mm-hmm. Yep. She's got all of that for the resin, you guys, because you definitely want to use that stuff on the resin. It's amazing. Um, but yes, yeah, she has a lot of cool stuff at her store. And you have to handle all the mixed media questions because you know I I'm just barely dipping my toe into this yeah. whole mixed media business. So yeah, I just finished my first big mixed media piece with the resin and the waxes and all that stuff during one of um, Nikki's classes. I didn't just didn't post the finished picture of it yet, but it is done. But I we know we yeah. it on here one night real quick. Yeah. I feel like I know just enough to be dangerous. So I'm not the one that should be answering like specific pointed questions. You know what I mean? See, if I start pouring, I quit talking. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. That's my chance to talk. I was a little bit fired up the other night too. Michelle and I got off and I'm like, man, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I was like, I didn't even give you a chance to talk. How rude. 
She's laughing at oh, me. Classes start up again in February. Nice. Oh, Nikki's classes. Yeah. I had yeah, to go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Nikki likes the black resin. Me, it doesn't matter to me because to me, when you use the waxes, I always gesso my resin first to give it some tooth, to give it something to grab onto. And right. it makes the color so much more vibrant. So to me, it the color doesn't really matter now for um, Patty, for furniture and stuff. It may, depending on what she's going to cover hers with. The tan is a good color. I have no need for the black because I paint it black anyway <laughs> with gesso. Right. And but you, you, like you embed stuff in the resin. That would be a question for Nikki. I'm not sure. But um, see, like for me, the tan, the reason it appeals to me is um, I want to pour up a lot of the pieces that I think and I ordered a bunch from Nikki, too, that I think are going to be really nice for furniture pieces. But like this, like this piece, yes. this would be really pretty, like on a gentleman's wardrobe. And that's the ones that have the door on one side and then like the, the drawers, drawers on the other. other. Correct. But these would be so pretty to alter or um, dress those up. Right. And people who do that, you can see more detail in the tan, I feel like. Correct. Um, than you could in the black. I agree. Right. So I want to be able to take these naked and unfinished so that people who want to do their own DIY furniture can have access to some of these molds. Right. That's, that's why I originally started all of this. And then when I started pouring them and then found out how many there are, then it was like, oh, wait, this is like a whole thing. And that's when I went like all the way down the rabbit trail. All right. Can you mix some more and... Do some dragonflies too? Yes, ma'am. She just wants me to shut up, you guys. I know. I just want you to make resin. <laughs> she just wants me to shut up. <laughs> so, but yeah, I just poured from the gallon into those. Um, Cause Nick, I got the gallons and Nikki sent me the 16 ounce. I think they're 16 ounce bottles. So I go from the gallon to the 16 ounce bottles. And then I pour the 16 ounce bottles into these cups and I'm, and it seems like more fussing around, but I really feel like I'm getting more done than when I was doing it the other way. Right. I feel way more efficient this way. And I have bigger syringes. I just haven't been brave enough. I'm like, mm, that might be biting off too much. And I don't know why, but I always put the A in first. Do you do that? Um, I think so. I think I put the thinner one in first. Oh, that's the B. Oh, okay. I don't know. Mine are both the same color. Right? Yeah. No. A is thicker. It's more like syrup. It makes me think more of syrup. Right. And, and the B is more, you know, like water. Oh, nice. You guys are all keeping up with each other. Yeah, I almost bought the mica powders today because they had a purple and I hemmed and hawed in the store when I was looking for yarn because, you know, I have to make something. And, right. Um, And then I put it back and then I left the store going, now, why didn't you just buy that with the 60% off coupon? Are you an idiot? Ah. <laughs> uh. And I don't time it anymore, you guys. It's just... I've gotten used to like watching for the swirls to go out and stuff. Cause remember what first I was like, really like, Oh, I have to time it. Dragonfly, dragonfly, dragonfly. Oh yeah. Dragonfly. Sorry. I like the moth. I don't know why. And I don't like them for real. So I don't know what my deal is with the, the mold. Um, Dana, I'm going to say no, because the amount of stuff that you can get out of what you purchase. No, it's not expensive. It may seem like it, but. You get a lot of pieces out of it. And if you saw the amount that Patty has right now, I don't know if you were here, but oh my goodness. <laughs> and I still have, I mean, I don't have a lot left in my gallon jugs, but I mean, I've poured all my mold multiple times. And, and multiple and multiple and multiple. And yeah. I mean, it's, it's, 
it's a hundred dollars for the gallon size jug but you get hundreds of pieces and i mean it's an investment to get started don't get me wrong it is for sure but if it's something that you think you're going to be into and then you have the molds and you can use the clay you can use how many different kinds of clay is there even i've never even put on clay i don't know but you can you don't have to buy the gallon they do make smaller ones Dana. yeah they do and the, the smaller ones are pretty i mean they're super affordable and you'll still get a ton the smaller ones are these bottles and it takes me a couple hours to pour out these bottles and that's just sitting here just pouring and you know, I'm not going like at breakneck speed or anything, but you get a lot out of those, those bottles. I would say all of this. Well, uh, Nikki says you get two gallons. Yeah, actually you do you, cause you get a gallon of each, right? You get a gallon of yeah. each or you can get the 32 ounce, right? Right. Which is what they call this, right? Cause you're getting the two 16 ounces. Yeah, they are pretty, right? Some of them. I are, love moss, Jennifer. I don't know. I don't like the brown, hairy, like ugly ones, though. I really oh, don't. I love moss. I think they're all beautiful. No, there's some really ugly brown, hairy ones with giant eyeballs, and I don't like those ones. Oh, well, it's true. <laughs> giant eyeballs. And the other reason I've decided I like the syringe thing is I've noticed I'm running through the B way faster than the A. And I don't know, I mean, not like, I mean, they're gallon size jugs, but there's like a good half inch, three quarter of an inch difference in the height of the liquid that's left in my bottles. And I don't know if it's because I pour the A first and maybe I'm consistently over pouring that one a little bit. I don't know. Hi, Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Yeah, the ones that eat your clothes, those ones either. I think those are the big, ugly brown ones with the beady eyes. I'm going to blame those ones because they're ugly and creepy. And I feel like they dive bomb you. I think so anyway. Just saying. I'm reading. Can you guys tell I'm quiet? I'm trying to mm -hmm. read. I'm trying to read. <laughs> Hi, Tabra. So what kind of weather do you guys have? We have 15 degrees. It's 15 oh. degrees and no snow. I'm so mad. No snow. It's uh was negative two here today. It was uh pretty freaking cold. Was but, that this morning? Uh most of the day. Wow. So I froze all day, you know, go from one freezing vehicle to another just nonstop all day long. Um, but is, it, is that going to be 50? So we're not going to have snow for Christmas, just so you know, Patty. Right. I've already decided that that was, I, I gave up. Guess I got to go somewhere else if I want to see snow. Well, you know, you did see the picture I posted. I had to go all the way to Tennessee to see snow. I mean, there's something kind of wrong with that picture in, or that whole whatever in and of itself. And this is my one of my favorite things about this, you guys. I'm pouring right on top of this other one because I didn't have enough to get it quite full. I love that. It's so seamless. You don't even see where you pour it in on top of another. Yeah, Dana's got lots of snow. Three and a half feet of snow. Dana, that's what I wanted to ask you. Where are you? I've seen the pictures and it looks amazing. But yeah, she has lots of snow. Is that learn to live? Yeah. Okay. Because I can't look. We, we have a beautiful white blanket today. Okay, everybody, that's not nice. <laughs> and Jennifer says to tell you, no, actually, no, they're not, Patty. They are really tiny and they're white. They don't actually eat your clothes. They lay eggs on your clothes and then they hatch and the babies eat your clothes. That's even more disgusting. It's those little tiny ones. That's gross. That's gross. 
It is. It's even more gross. And I, for, I used to like bug me that I would drip on there. Now I just let them dry and I peel them off later. Okay. I guess I'll be driving through Wisconsin. Yes. I saw the top of the garage you were shoveling off. Hi, Lorna. Oh, and Lorna has lots of snow. I well, Lorna's had lots of snow. She's a brat and keeps bragging about it too. Cause she knows that it's, that I'm like jealous. Yeah. She has mica powders now, Nikki. Can you pour one with mica powder in the mold to show how it turns out? Well, you have to answer a very important question for me first. <laughs> what, what do, does it take all the mica powder out or do I have to clean it? No, it'll probably take it all right out. Just sprinkle a little bit in the bottom and then pour in your resin. And when you pull out the resin, if you didn't overdo your mica, it'll soak right into the resin and come out. Okay, so do I put it in with a brush? Um, no, I would just sprinkle a little bit, or you can put it on a brush and then like tap the brush. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that it shakes off. I'm just, I'm just asking. Let me let me go grab the micas. I would love to have some of your snow, Dana. Me too. Yeah, she says it takes it all the way out. Not you're not messy. Nikki says to brush it on. Jean says sprinkle it, but Nikki says to brush it on. If you can hear me. I hear you. Okay. I didn't know how far away you went. Yeah, I turned, I have a bathroom up here. So, and nobody uses it but me. And it's a big bathroom. So I've, all of this resin, cause it turns into a bunch of stuff, you know, just like everything else we do. Um, I, oh commandeered some of the shelving in there so all of my all of my mixed media ish stuff is in there now uh jennifer jane and lorna are fighting over something jennifer wants a box that lorna has and lorna says too bad it's under my tree and jennifer <laughs> says too bad i had a french ledger i was going to share with you <laughs> <laughs> oh you guys just go for it. Oh, and I'm going to be munching on dark chocolate almonds. Just so you know. Um, and Nikki says you can use two colors if you want. Like put some on the wing and then put oh some on the Oh, my goodness. Let's not overcomplicate this. This is me you're dealing with. Good gravy. I'm going to okay. reach right through that screen, Nikki, and grab a brush and go to it. <laughs> All right, Laurel, because you're here. I'm going to use purple. Yay. See, now you're going to make me go back and get those ones. No, no, you should have just stuck the brush right in the container. But, and then, then, you would, but then you would yell at me for contaminating it. Oh, jeez. Wouldn't she, you guys? She would yell at which one? Which bird? This one? Um, do the big one. Yeah. Oh, this isn't a very soft brush. Do I need a softer brush? No, that's fine. Just do that center part purple and then maybe do the wings another color. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We're going to get all artsy fartsy, you guys. Oh, Nikki says, I've shopped and ordered birds, butterflies, mermaids, and wings. Thanks, Patty. You're welcome. When someone finds the unicorns, let me know. No problem, Nikki. I am here to encourage. I have no problem acknowledging it. Okay, so there's the purple. Oh, wait. Oh, don't waste that. I'm not, because I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to put another color next to it. Okay. Let's see. Because now that I'm doing this, I'll be doing it. You know I'm going to be up all night again, right? Because now, nope. yeah, because now we just changed the whole game, I feel like. Well, I don't have free day until, you know, I still have one day to go yet. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Darn it, I should have bought those today. Well, as soon as I walked out of the store, I thought of exactly what I wanted to use them for, and it made me really mad. They'll be there tomorrow. No, yeah, but it, the 60% off coupon was today. Tomorrow it'll be 50. Oh, uh, Nikki, now you tell me. What? She's like, Laurel, that's what I forgot to send you, unicorn molds.
Should the head be purple or this teal color? Uh, the teal color. See, if you guys want me to be quiet, just have me do something. Right. Clearly, that's all it takes. <laughs> That's going to look cool. Okay. I'll probably have to pour twice on it because I don't think this measurement is enough to fill it, if I remember right. Aw, you're so sweet, Nikki. Did everybody get the coupon code if they want to go shopping? And I'll come back and add it to the description to you guys. Yes, it's Patty15. If you go shop over at Queen's Craft Fair, Queen's with a Z. Hey, if you could just put the ticker up for me, that would be great. And no, I'm just kidding. No, I don't know. I, I don't think I can do that. I'll do it. I love the ticker. I know it drives you guys a little bit crazy, but I can't help it. It just makes me ridiculously happy. All right. Hi, Julia. Thanks for coming in. Have a great night. Good night, Julia. Thank you. Yes, she will be, Kristen. You should see she's already got bagfuls all packaged and ready to go. You know, because that way Laurel can give me more of a hard time and tell me I'm an overachiever. She is quite the overachiever. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh, you know what? This is, I'm just thinking this, hum, this would be the right, if you're going to put your mica in the mold, this is when you would want the black, yeah, because no, or the, or the or the white. I think yeah, but I'm just thinking we we take these. I took all of these and painted them black gesso to turn around and put all the color on them. So if you did it this way and poured black, then you wouldn't you could skip the whole gesso stage. Nikki or Nikki, I didn't want to say anything because you know I don't like being told I know it all, but. Nikki has a great suggestion, which is how I would do things, too. She says, Patty, tip, before you begin using your molds, I pour water in them and measure and write it down so she knows exactly how much resin to use. All I can say is I think that's really awesome. And if that works for you, that's perfect. <laughs> I will never do that, promise. <laughs> Maggie, uh, Maggie, Patty doesn't have patience for that. Yeah, no, no. All that water pouring and measuring. No, I could be doing like real stuff. Oh, thanks, Lorna. <laughs> not really. It, you know, it's that not important information that I know. Oh, the mica doesn't even move. It, it, yeah, but it will. No, it no. Will. I was like, I wonder if it's going to float away when I start pouring it in and it did not. Well, maybe it is enough for it. I don't think it is. I think I have to come back and add a little more. Yeah, I have to add a little more. And like these cups are just like um, souffle cups that I got at like a food service place. And I'm just setting them off over here to dry. But then it, oh, I probably shouldn't do that right over top of it, huh? But then it, it dries and it peels right out so I can reuse these again. Oh, well, we'll keep you company, Jennifer. No problem. I'm alone every day of my life, so I, I get you. Yeah, Jody says, yeah, Patty could do it and then lose the piece lose the paper she wrote it down on <laughs> wait what <laughs> who said that jody if you did what uh, she knows me you right. have met me awesome awesome i like it i like it yes you're absolutely right that's why i have to why do you think i was so excited when i found the official want book it's spiral bound and everything i don't even have to make it it's all there and done for me. It's perfect and portable. Oops.
The suction gets just a little bit wonky every once in a while. I think those dragonflies would look amazing with the mica. <laughs> well, yeah, now that we're doing this, I'm like, hmm. I think, there we go. I might have to see how it, it kind of like dries and yep. then I don't want to pour or draw up quite right. So I may have to, I'm wondering if I can rinse them out with hot soapy water and if they'll be reusable or if I'm going to have to pitch them. And I kind of don't care either way. I'm kind of hoping I can, that they're not, and I can just pitch them. Because I, no joke, am that girl that barely cleans my stamps. Way too much work. Why is Lorna now again saying, hi, Laurel, Patty, and Nikki. I'm confused. Hi, Angela. <laughs> She's been in here the whole time. What is going on? I'm confused. She's she's freaking me out. Oh, my goodness. Because she was sleepwalking earlier, and now she's awake. How's oh. that? Just kidding. I don't know. Don't let me forget, I picked up some amazing stamps to show you guys yesterday, too. They're, well, I picked them up because I wanted them, but I want to show them to you. They're um, IOD stamps, too. I'm trying to think. Oh, there they are. It's like, where did I put those? Shoot, Aww, I should have liked it another one before I stirred. I forgot to stir this to, and I don't have time now. I was going to do mic another one before I mixed this because I won't use it all in this bird. You know what I mean? Right. I forgot. It's because I was talking. Pour with one hand, brush with the other. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, multitasker. I am a multitasker, but that is pushing it. I am not ambidextrous for oh, sure. Angela said she picked up some awesome stamps too. Yes, you did. You got some cool stuff. Who did? Angela. Nice. Start using them and get on so I can see them. Lorna says, see, I already lost track of who I said hi to. Too many cookies. <laughs> There's no such thing as too many cookies. Louise, did you bake cookies today, by the way? Yeah, Jody's like, I was just thinking that you should have mic'd something else. <laughs> Exactly, Jody. You need to talk louder, my darling. I didn't hear you. Yell louder. I like the stamps. I demoed Saturday. Were you on Saturday? Because, oh, well, I was. Wait, was I? Oh, yeah, I fell asleep at my desk. I remember now. <laughs> After I being awake for umpteen million hours. Yeah, you had a goofy weekend, right? Ugh. So these are the stamps. Check these out, you guys. Yeah, those are amazing. Aren't those? They're like labels. And then I'm going to try not to just crazy flip it on the screen. But look what they did with them. That's cool. Aren't those nice? I'm going to go to... um. Tuesday morning and see if they have some tin buckets and I'm going to do these and I'm going to take them to market with some in some tin buckets and maybe put a couple drain hose drain hole walls and some pea gravel and then plant like herbs and um, stuff in them for market. I think they're super, super cute. And look at these. Oh yeah, my gosh. My favorite right there. <laughs> How much trouble can we get in with these? I mean, how much fun are we going to, these are like inch and a half diameter. And then these are like an inch and a quarter to the edge of the stamp. But some of the images are like an inch. Um, and these are all like, I think they're all French. I think. Oh my like God, Lorna. I absolutely love ginger snaps. And then this. They did them for, for like knobs, like dresser knobs, cabinet knobs, that kind of thing. But there you see how they stamp out most of them. Wow. But there, I forget, 62 stamps in here. Um, I think they're awesome. It's it like, again, it's kind of pricey to buy them. But when you stop and figure out, and like, they were the same price. The, each, each package was the same price. Um, 
but like what would these cost at Michael's? These I paid, I think it was $28 a package for these. Um, and there's two, four, six, eight, nine, and then there's four smaller ones down here under the flap. So there's 13. So that's just over two bucks a piece. Um, I can't go to any of the big box stores and get the stamps for two bucks a piece. We know that even, even on sale or with a coupon. Um, and I've already pulled out a couple of these and played with them. They're really nice quality um, stamps. And these just know that peeling them off the first time, it's like, uh, I don't even know. It's, it's ridiculous. They're on there. They're like really like glued on almost. Um, these I haven't tried to pull out yet, but I mean, there's 62 of them. That makes these 50 cents a piece, these little ones. And I understand it. Sandy, if you breathe for a second, I'll answer your question. <laughs> your molds. So she's playing with resin. Um, yes, we see you, but I, I got to find this little spot to squeeze in a word here and there. And Angela would like you to know that her youngest took three of the journals that she bought on Black Friday to gift, to decorate and gift to her sisters and a few girlfriends. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. That yay. <laughs> Angela, I love your girls. There's just no two ways about it. I love your girls. They're cute, they're sweethearts, they're just good humans. All right, that one's not hard yet. So let's, let's take these out. Here's the butterfly. And this is no, you know, little itty bitty thing. This is three and a quarter at the, at the top. Love it. Yeah, so they're pretty good size. And then there's that one. Oh, those are so cool. Look at, but like, look at all the, I know it got a little blurry, but can you guys see all the like depth in them? Yep. Here's the moth. That looks cool. Oh. And this is super easy to clean up right now. I over poured right there. And that, and that first moth, Patty, that you pulled out, yep, there's a tiny little piece on it. Grab it before it gets hard. The other one, you'll see it. It's oh, this one? Yep. That little drop. There you go. Good night, Donna. Thank you for coming in. Thanks, Donna. And I have found, you guys, the other thing I use to clean these up if I mess them up a little bit is emery boards. And I just buy these in every grit I can find. I love them. I use those. I don't even have sanding paper up here. I use those for everything. Aww. Oh, I love that one. I like the different shaped ones. You know? Yeah. I like that there's so many. I mean, there's a lot of molds on here. Oh, look at the dragonfly. Shell needed some of those really badly. She kept saying, you don't have dragonflies in anything? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Love that one too. <clears throat> oh, she's on her rabbit trail, Kristen. How are you doing? She's doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I I uh yeah. It's a thing. For sure. Turned it into a thing. So, like, I'll just come back and add to that one. Let's see if these guys, are they done? See my impatience, you guys. They're not quite done yet. No. Nope. Okay. So, let's Mica. set that. What? Mica and butterflies? Um, I want to play with these with Mica. Okay. Go ahead. Um, let's do this one. I 
would love like it because it goes such a long way. Right? All right, can we stop talking about cookies? No, keep doing it. Torture her. Oh. Torture her. No, she would never make it with the slow set resin, Nikki. No, 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 no. Like, I really want to get the silicone that you were using to do the lacy thing. Yeah. But I know I would have to do all the molds and straighten up and then go to bed or leave the house or something <laughs> because I wouldn't be able to leave them alone waiting for them to dry six hours or something. Yeah, no, that's not me. It's weird. I have no patience with this kind of stuff. I just, I want instant gratification from this stuff. It took me forever to embrace online shopping, I have to tell you, because I wanted to come home with my things. Oh, and she loves her online shopping. No, I wanted to pay for it, own it, bring it home, use it. The waiting for it to be delivered, ugh, oh, that was torture. Oh, happy birthday, Kristen. Yeah, happy birthday. I was, I was at work all day. <laughs> there we go. That'll be pretty. Let's see. What else can we paint? What other color? What other color? Oop, not that side. We don't want a sprinkle side. There's green. Oh, I just almost poked. If I didn't have my glasses on, I would have poked myself right in the eye. Did you hear that? I did. That, that would have been bad. <laughs> with What did you almost poke yourself with? My fingernail. Oh, good. I grief. jabbed my glasses with it. Did I not open that one? No, it's... Yeah, it's open. Okay, maybe it's not open. It was not open. It is now. Come on. There it goes. Yeah, we got a lot of Sagittarius in the house for sure. I guess. See, like, I can't even be bothered to open these up. I just poke them oh, and keep moving. It's just stuff. Just stuff. Just stuff. December does rock, Angela. <laughs> I feel like this one needs green. Ram sure. Ram Starting on screen keyboard. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you, she's nosy. Nosy. And she, ugh. And then she butts in all the time. Good Lord. Holy cow, I have an on-screen keyboard. I wonder what that does. I'm gonna yeah. close it. I'm gonna close it because I don't want to blow anything up. I don't know what that you have a touch screen? Yeah. That's why I have one too. I've never I I didn't know it was there. Could you tell I didn't know it was there? Didn't know. I'm lucky to get so it says Cortana butt out. Exactly. Don't say her name out loud, Laurel. <laughs> She'll be back. Jeepers. It's always most inconvenient. And it's weird what it picks up, like when it chooses to like pay attention or wake up or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think. Okay. So now the gold. What do we want the gold on? Oh, decisions. There you go, Nikki. Nikki's right on top of that cold. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Nikki. I told her this was only going to work if she was here because I would get sidetracked and forget. Okay, so now let's put some blue in this one too. What do you think? Okay. 
Okay, blue's gone. Maybe some green. Oh, this one might be a hot mess, you guys. We don't care. Ooh. Oh. Micah all over the counter. Whoopsie. Oh. Wait, I have a baby wipe. I can clean that up. No big deal. Oh, awesome, Kristen. What did she get for her birthday? That's what I want to know. She got a shopping spree from my parents, and I'm going to Walmart, but I do not know when. Nice. I love a shopping spree. Big surprise, right? Okay. The big reveal. Wow. That's pretty that cool. cool. What do you guys think? That's cool. I like that. And it didn't leave any in the mold, did it? Nope. Nope. It pulled it all out, which is like amazing. Right? And now I'm thinking it'd be super cool to come in and just like dry brush around the edges where I didn't mm -hmm. put mica. Nikki this says, I can say you'll need about 2.5 ounces first, first drip for those regal trimmings. Which the, one? Are the long ones you're doing that you put oh, okay. mica in. Okay. Okay. You know that went in one ear and right yeah. out the other one, right? Just saying. All right, so we'll keep this one up here for reference. I really wish I had something here ready to work with that I could mold this that I knew. Because see, look how you can mold mm -hmm. if you take them out just a little bit early or pull the wings back a little. Flatten you back down. So, all right. Put you over there. Clean cup. Resins. Yep, Louise says add a touch of wax. That's probably what she'll do around the edges, Louise. Yeah, I think that'd be super, super pretty. Super pretty. <laughs> it might be time for new syringes. <clears throat> Why? It, how is it drying in there if you're not mixing them together? I don't know. It could, it's not like really drying. It's just, um, they're old. I've had these a long time and I'm wondering if the rubber, the rubber around the inside of it, you know, on the plunger part, yeah. and, um, reacting to the liquids. Oh, okay. So I don't know if new ones, it wouldn't do that probably. I don't know, but that's why I think I should be able to wash them and keep reusing them, I would think. Okay. And see, I have several of these. So I feel like if I wanted to be like super like assembly line, just boom, 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 or like to pour to mix a bigger amount, larger amount, whatever. Um, if I had a few of those pulled up and lined up out here, then I could do one or two as I chose. Cause like these straight ones, they pour pretty quick. Probably Nikki, she pours every day. I think she gets all of them poured out pretty quick, probably. She's probably like Miss Super Efficient over there. Everybody figures out a system on what works. Yeah, this, this just keeps me in check. It's like I feel like I'm still productive, but I don't feel like I have to rush. And see, that one looks like it's full. And I could leave. Oh, that would be interesting. 
Hmm. Lauren is like drug user in your past life, Patty. Never seen so many. Speeches. I was an EMT. I used to bring these home from the hospital and I used to use them for glue. So, nope. Nice try though, but nope. Um, yeah, we used to use those, you know, in the ambulance. I'm not even going to try and say that, Nikki, whatever it is. What? Whatever she just said. I don't know what the word is and I don't know how to say it. Oh, porologist. She spelled it wrong first. Oh, okay. Porologist. <laughs> I bet it looks funny, right? I bet. I'm okay with it. I should have said no. I use them for cooking, for, you know, injecting turkeys. That would have been, you know, that would have been a really cool answer, too, I feel like. All right, let's keep going here. I'm going to get some clean ones. I feel like I'm over those. I'm tired of fighting it. Oh, yeah. Much smoother. Yes. Maybe not. This one doesn't want to seem to. Interesting. Interesting. I think it's because they're old. Who knows? It's working. Don't care. Nikki said, I was a mess when I started. I resined the dog. <laughs> hey, I, I really thought about pulling people's underwear out of the drawer when I was wax sealing because I couldn't find anything new to wax seal on. And then I came up with a few new ideas. So everybody got to keep their underwear intact. Yeah, between the resin and the wax seals, I could have, oh my gosh, you guys. And then Laurel, she's like, oh, by the way, did you happen to see? And I'm like, really? <laughs> she found a whole new furnace system. You can use, you can like adjust the heights of it, put different size tea lights under it. I'm like, great, great. Just what I need. My gosh, I've been talking so much when I'm quiet. They're probably like, wait, did we lose her? No, I'm here. <laughs> no, no. I said that's what they're probably doing. Uh -oh. <laughs> wait, I can't hear her. Did we lose her? Right. The dog ate my glue once. That was a mess. Oh, boy. I uh, can't even imagine. Okay, there's that. I still need more on that one and we'll pour this one. So what are you guys working on? Are you guys just sitting there watching? I know sometimes I'm working when I watch people and sometimes I'm like literally just sitting there. So who's doing stuff? Don't just say me. Tell me what you're doing, too. I like to know what you guys are doing. <laughs> Nikki says, Patty, this is why I have three boxes of mold sitting in the house. It's so addicting. It is. Yes, ma'am. And Lorna says, well, now I have the song stuck in my head. Thanks for that, Patty. Did you what? happen to see the most beautiful girl? <laughs> <laughs> And Jody says, I think you need to use the big syringes, Patty. I and know. Louise says, I'm watching resin dry. <laughs> it's kind of like watching and paint dry. Deb says, I'm tired and just listening. And 
Lorna says, you know, Patty, you could pour chocolate in those molds. You could before you decide to put the mica yeah. in them, I think. And probably before, well, this is an interesting fact. We don't own a dishwasher. <laughs> I've never owned a dishwasher. Um, I kind of enjoy doing dishes. So um, if I had a dishwasher and I thought I could like sterilize them, I might drop them in a pot of boiling water. Or I might just break down and buy new ones and have food only ones. So just saying, I would not reuse these probably for food. Somehow that just doesn't seem quite right. If I have to wear gloves to use it, I feel like maybe I shouldn't pour chocolate in it. And I have no idea, you guys. I didn't watch any YouTubes or anything. How to, I don't know if you're supposed to move along when you're pouring them. It just makes sense to me. What? I can hear you laughing at me. Me? Yeah. I'm not laughing. Oh, okay. I thought I heard you giggling. I was like, what, what did I do now? I always used my dishwasher or I kept my snacks and everything in it. <laughs> oh my God. Like, like Shell, I'm a hand washer. I probably because I grew up hand washing. So we used to have a thing in the sink. She took it out so I can't hand wash anymore, you know, like a dish rack. Right. So I would hand wash everything. And when I left the kitchen, she would put it all in the dishwasher. And she really? Washed, she washes all her dishes before she puts them in the dishwasher. So what is the dishwasher for? <laughs> Evidently, it's the sterilizer. It's like it that commercial. Like. Then what does the dishwasher do? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Did you about pee your pants the first time you saw that commercial? Oh, my God. I died when I saw that commercial. I bet. I love when a commercial mimics a really funny situation at home. Nikki says, I have two videos on resin and one uses mica powder. Nice. I should probably go watch them. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Lorna's like, I'm sitting in bed with a tea watching Patty do surgery with resin. <laughs> of course, Nikki, if I go watch yours, then I'm going to see all the things I've been doing wrong. But then I would have better success. Yes, I would have a better product at the end. So that would be a win-win, yes. <laughs> the dogs. It's so weird when I get in the shadow and, I, and then I try to stir it to see if it's clear. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I wasn't paying attention and I was stirring earlier and I flipped a whole, like if this had been a tea, it was like this in a, just a whole blop of it and it went right on my shirt. Mm. So I'm like, I wonder if that's going to set up. So now I'm pouring so I can't finish that story. You'll enjoy the mica powder one. I mix and blend. That's what Nikki said. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited. I'll be watching that later, you know, when I'm pouring alone. And there'll be a lot of pausing like, wait, what? Do that again. Darn, that one still needs a little more. Dang. I know I should be mixing more, but like I said, this really, and I'm really not wasting cups because I peel them. I was going to throw them away initially, and then I was like, wait a minute, this should dry and peel right out, and it does. So I'm just stacking or lining them all up over here in front of me, and then when they dry, I'm going to... See, like, see this one? It's just, I don't know. I think it's because I'm getting it on the bottom of the cup, maybe. Hold on. Hold the phone. 
Oh, and Nikki, you'll be proud of me. I did figure out when I squirt it back in there and make bubbles, I go to a different part and don't draw up the bubbles. I discovered I don't get bubbles in the pieces that way. How is that for pretty, you know, observant? <laughs> I can see molding chocolate covered pretzels using that mold, Patty. Right? And this will probably cause Nikki's eyes to cross. I do reuse the popsicle sticks if they haven't dried up. Because I figure why not? And I don't know about you guys, but I find popsicle sticks at the thrift stores all the time. And now I will for sure. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you can buy them at the dollar store too. Right? I just feel like, yeah, I'm okay throwing them away. <laughs> Lorna. Yeah, but you've been baking and making chocolates for like, what, a week now or something? She puts up 15 Christmas trees and then bakes enough food for, you know, half the town. Well, not even food, sweets. Okay, I think that one's full. Now let's fill this one. Let's fill this one. And I'm going to do, what am I going to do? Quick, Patty, quick. I'm going to do a dragonfly. Oop, and a moth. Okay, so I'm going to show you. This is what I do. <laughs> Nikki's probably going to have a, a fit. Don't watch, Nikki. I'm not a professional. So this one I went way over and it spilled. And I'm too lazy and don't want to sand it. So I just scoop it off. <laughs> don't. Don't watch, Nikki. I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't watch. Because then at least it dries flat and I can clean all the gunk off my mold. Right, exactly. But then I don't have to sand the piece. That one's pretty smooth now. A little bit lopsided, but it's close. I can live with it. So if I just don't let that one sit up real hard before I peel it out, I can just peel all this stuff around it off and clean it up real quick. So much easier to do that than figure out how to sand it all flat. You guys doing over there? I'm just watching you. <laughs> I'm reading chat. Ha. Ah. So yep, 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 yep. Did I show you guys this one? Oops, 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 come back. The birdies are flying away. Look at this one. Oops. I can't tell if that's that's probably more right. There it is. Oops, there it is. I absolutely love the detail in this one. I love this one is going to be amazing on furniture. I think. And I did. Oh, I didn't show you this one. I got this one too. And I did tons of keys and plates for you guys. So if you guys want keys and plates, we'll have those. And, and I, love that. Yeah. I can't wait for those. Yeah, there's two of them. Hi, Rosemary. Yep, you missed all the fun. Hey, Rosemary. <laughs> Nikki's like, don't make me go buy another one. <laughs> you have to go buy more. You have to go buy more. Yeah, I found the keys and plates too. So yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, so we can turn him back around. I'm just making a mess, Rosemary. Oh, that was wet. Don't stick your fingers in the wet ones. Pay attention. Aye, aye, aye. Might be time for new gloves. I'm sticky. Sticky, sticky. Except now I have to wait for my hands to dry so I can get back in the new gloves. So is there anybody here that, oh my gosh, you guys, still with the food and the candy. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not reading chat right now. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Keep doing it. Get her, you guys. Look, Rosemary, I figured out how to put, I had good tutelage. I have, I'm putting mica in before I pour. Man, my thumb looks like, it looked black, didn't it? That was weird. Must just be the shadow because it's it really just the shadow, I think. It must be. It was weird. I was like, wait, did the blue of the glove come off on my finger? I thought that was weird. So there's that. Oh my gosh, Rosemary. IOD stamps. Let me show you the packaging. There is, you need to look it up. Not that I'm trying to encourage you or anything, but I'm just saying it'll be packaged like this says um it'll be the iron orchid there's a peacock stamp really oh my gosh you guys this thing is like 12 inches this package right so there's one peacock that takes like from the bottom corner comes up and around this way then there's another taller more slender one over here and they're like so big they don't even fit on the board side by side they're like overlapping each other in the package then there's like all kinds of feathers and there's like nine pieces to this, to this set. And every piece is over six inches. I think they're just, it's an amazing stamp set. Lorna says you are the worst crack dealer. She knows. I completely agree. I can't help it. I saw that and I was like, Oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys it is. I want it, but I'm like, how many times am I really going to use a peacock stamp? And it's so big, you would have to want to do like home decor with it. But then I was like, wouldn't it be really cool to do pillows? Because I have those grain sacks. Remember the, um, the Italian grain sacks I got from Sophie? Wouldn't it be cool to use like that peacock stamp on those Italian grain sacks and make like um, sofa pillows and stuff? Can you tell she's getting excited again? She's not breathing. I can't help it. I can't help it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Nikki, does I, if they want to see what's available, is there like, where can they just go see what IOD has? We'll be here, I hope. We'll try, Jennifer. We'll try. These, um, it's a local store. She's, um, for me, local is, you know, 15, 20 minutes away. Um, in like the real town, not like this little village that I'm in. Um, she has a, um, antique slash vintage store. And, um, like if you guys are familiar with Jamie Ray, she's like my local Jamie Ray, if that makes sense. And she's got, um, she's, She's so talented. She does the beautiful stuff, but she carries the DIY and some most of the iron orchid stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, that's why I wanted Nikki to be here because then it's like she can just ship stuff to you guys. It would it would be perfect. It's like a perfect storm. Because she knows all the, you know, the ins and outs to get all this stuff for you guys. Oh, I never thought about that. They do kind of look like white chocolate on the screen, don't they? Interesting. I looked up at the YouTube and my hands are going like this. And I'm like, what am I doing? I must be talking. See, I have no patience. I want them to hurry up and dry. I'm like, what do I do now while I'm waiting for them to dry? 
What do I do? I don't know why you guys put up with me. Jeez Louise. See, like all of these are all the drying ones. I'll just clean those all up later. And I really thought I would glue them together if I put them together, if they weren't quite dry, but they don't. It's the craziest thing. It's so weird. <laughs> not for children and not edible. <laughs> the feather mold. I... I'm going to say no, because I'm pretty sure I would have gotten it. She did have the mermaid one, and it was cute. I'm just not into mermaids. I don't think I would use it, so I didn't get that one. I'm trying to remember, she had she had a lot. She really had a nice whole display of the stamps and stuff, um, all the IOD stamps. And then she had um, the molds in two different places. Um, they're by Iron Orchid, too, uh, Nikki, the stamps. Yeah, the stamps are Iron Orchid. I'm sorry. There, I just helped you out, Angela. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the stamps are so... Angela, did you see the other ones that I got? Did you see the ones I got? Not that I'm like super... Yeah, that's what she wants. She wants... Oh, okay. Them. Yeah, these. Yes, ma'am. Can you turn it over? Is there a number on it, like by the barcode? These are called um, knob toppers. Knob right toppers. Right there in the corner. That's the one. And there's like 60. These were um, these were $38 for this package. But this package, let me put my Tim ruler on here so you guys know. It's, it's 12 inches wide. It's a big package. But there's 62 stamps in here. So they're like 50 cents a piece. And then... There's the, and this, this shows you how they are. You can actually see what the stamp that's size that, is. What is that on the back? The knobs. That's how they've stamped them on, like. Oh, it comes them. with knobs? No, no, there doesn't come with knobs. This is, this is, they're showing you what it would look like stamped on a knob. Wow, that looks very three-dimensional. Right? Yeah, no. It looks like a picture. Nope, it's just the packaging. Wow. Yeah, but that's how they're going to stamp out. They're just so pretty. And I just thought, you know, we can use these for so many things. So many things. And then I got this one, which is the crockery. So it's all different, like, crock labels. And this one's a 12-inch wide. And there's four of them down here that are underneath the, the cardboard. So there's those. And then this is how they're using them. But like I said, I want to go get, I want to go, um, remember last year, um, the and I lost a fingernail already. Remember the Dollar Tree had the tin, the, the little tin pails? I want to go get the pails and um, do like a rusty zinc kind of thing on them. And the white, you know, like a dry brush almost, and then yeah. put a stamp on top and then plant the herbs and stuff in them. But I'm going to do a bunch of jars too, I think. I'm going to take them to market and see how they go. I think they'll be super cute. And I can still use them in the journals. So it's like awesome. I like when we can get... Oh, nice. Nikki, you can get those stamps for 23. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Nice. Way better. Oh my gosh, you guys. That looks totally cool and old and rusted and vintage and oh no. I'm in so much trouble, you guys. That looks so cool. Now we just blobs. Like you just I'm, it all up. I'm in so much trouble. This is going to become a thing. You know this, Hi, right? Caroline. Hey, Caroline, how are you? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So don't come on tomorrow and ask me if I'm still pouring resin because the answer is going to be a resounding yes. How yeah, I did like that one. 
Oh my goodness. And these are still pretty flexible in case you guys hadn't noticed I'm rushing them. But that's, I mean, if you had a specific project in mind, that would be the perfect time. This is like, to me, the perfect time. Nikki will probably correct me, but see how they just kind of curl on their own if you pull them out early? That looks cool. Look at, oh my gosh, look how it brings out all that dimension. Oh my goodness, I'm in love I'll with I'll make these. sure she knows she can go back up and grab it, Nikki, thanks. And I wrote it down too. I'm in love with these all over, again, that one has to wait. It's not dry. But see, like, let's see about this one. No, he's still not ready. I had to move for, no, not ready. Not ready, oh darn it. Oh my goodness, Miss Impatient, pour some more. Get <laughs> going and start pouring. Nice. Ah, ah, they're so pretty. She's like, okay, live over, ladies. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I already know where her brain's at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I like, I like the, and they stay flexible for a while. I mean, look, you know what I mean? I, I like that. You've got time to manipulate them and play with them and stuff. Yeah. All right. I have to grab something that I got yesterday and see what it's going to do. One minute. One minute. I got to try. All right, I got the brushes. I have to see what this gold is going to do. And the bird. Okay, move those out of the way. Move that. I was not going to paint tonight, you guys. I was not painting. I'm painting because somebody made me use mica. So now I'm painting. <laughs> this is um, the DIY golden ticket. Um, and it can be used. I haven't used this before at all. When this first came out, you couldn't find this anywhere ever. It sold out online, everywhere, like immediately. So I gave up. And when I was there the other day, she had it. So I was like, oh, I think it's time. But um, you can use this as a like a finish protective coat, too, if you want to. On um, furniture, 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 yeah, furniture. Furniture and home deck stuff, if you want. So there's a little, there's that plug. Um, let's see here. Jordan, like, I was not going to spend money tonight. I was not. Now I am shopping. Thanks for that, Patty. No problem. Anytime I can help. There were two, Angela. Good night, Jody. Thank you for coming in. Thanks, Jody. Oh, I like this stuff, I think. I need it to dry to decide totally, but I think I like this. Love, love, love. Debbie's Design Diary. Yep. What is that? What is that, Telly? Is that a YouTube person? No, Debbie's Design Diary, she's the one that um, created and manufactures um, the DIY paint. Oh. Oh, my gosh. And her videos are hilarious, you guys. She's so funny. So funny. She's, you would like her, Laurel. She's, she's silly. She's funny. Um, Hi, Crystal. 
Hey, Crystal. Oh, Patty's on this never ending massive rabbit trail. <laughs> well, I went and looked for new molds and I found some. So, you know, there's that. And your enabler buddy over there gave us a shopping discount code. So we've all gone and lost our ever loving little minds. Yeah, because don't think for a minute I didn't do shopping before we came on, you guys. Because <laughs> I was like, wait, if I wait, I got to go see because they'll buy it all. <laughs> oh, I like this stuff. Yeah, I think she does uh, watch Jamie Ray Vintage. Yep. Jamie Ray is awesome. Yep. And her hubs and the kids. Oh my gosh. Have you been watching their new house? The process with the reno on the house? They're hilarious. I think they're like perfect. You, you know how sometimes you just see a couple and it's like nobody could have ever picked that. You know what I mean? Crystal's like, LOL. No. You're losing right. your mind while playing with resin? Sorry, don't believe you, LOL. <laughs> right? Oh, you should see. Show her the baskets. Let her let her see. Can you guys see? Can you see the gold? Yeah. Oh my God, that looks amazing. And you guys see how long it took to put that on there. And then all I did was go around the edge with it. Pretty, right? That's gorgeous. So, and that, let me close this up and I'll show you what it is. I am getting the weirdest cramp right here, you guys. So if I twitch really funny, don't think I'm like having a seizure or something. My arm's just cramping. So here's, here's the label. Golden ticket, liquid patina. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Everybody close your eyes unless you're going to need to buy something else. Close your eyes right now. There it is. The DIY. So there's that. And then I found she does a white wax, which is really nice. But And this I was never able to get my hands on before either. So hold on. I want to grab a piece that I waxed. I, I don't think anyone's going anywhere. <laughs> Lorna says, Patty, I'm going to have to start blocking you for the love of my bank account. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh my gosh. I can't help it. It's fun stuff though. And it'll keep us busy all winter. It's productive. You know, I can't help it. It's what we all like, right? So I wanted a couple of these pieces that I, oh, that'll be a good one. Let's, because I just want to see what it does. I haven't even played with it yet. So I need like a stiffer brush, I think. I have over here. <laughs> of course you are, Angela. Looking for a brush. Okay, I feel like I should probably. Did you get the decrepit? Yes, I did. Yep, that's exactly where we're going is into the land of the decrepit. What did I do with my, there it is. And it says you should put clear wax on and then the decrepit so that it has something to stick to. I don't think I have any clear wax. And I didn't look downstairs in the shop. Uh, Lorna says, I am still trying to find the dang stamps that will ship to Canada. Order them from Nikki. She'll send them to you. No, the stamps you have. Nikki doesn't have those. Oh, the IOD ones. Yes. Um, 
Lorna, find out, decide, write down the names of the ones you want and um, send message it to me. And I will check with her and see which ones she has. And then I'll let you know. And I'll ship them to you if need be. Don't stress out over it. Okay, so you're putting black on black? Well, because I want the wax to put the decrepit on. Does that make sense? Oh, that's wax you're using? Yeah, this is wax. Just because well, I, want, I want to get it down in the grooves to get the decrepit on. Lorna's is like, finally, a product I can get behind. Decrep de 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 it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you guys are going to spell wrong, it's really hard for me. My mouth just is like, well, the. <laughs> Obviously, that was the best part of the whole night was listening to you try to spit that out incorrectly because it was making you crazy. So this is the decrepit. They have a dark and decrepit, I think. I think. This is decrepit dust. That's what it says. And like I said, I just picked these up yesterday. I haven't, I mean, I'm just opening now. I haven't played with it. I read the directions. That's kind of all I know about it. I've watched Jamie play with them and I've watched Debbie play with them. Ooh, this brush is way too big. FYI, brush is too big. I'm not saying it again, Lorna. <laughs> My mouth doesn't want to say it incorrectly. <laughs> and I might be doing this all wrong and have to play with it a few times. Oh, wait, I don't want to blow it out. That's the whole point is to build up chunkiness. Never mind. Doofus. And Crystal said, I'm sure you could use clear gesso patty instead of wax if you don't have any. Okay. Well, that would be another thing that, see, I don't have gesso. See, I think furniture. I have furniture stuff because I've done furniture for several years. So, like, to do, do you know what I mean? To, like, paint and refurb and all of that kind of stuff on furniture. That's the stuff I have. Angela says, Patty, did you see the script stamp? Oh, it was pretty, right? Well, I, you know what? I didn't get it. I was all right, like, Lorna. restraint, you guys. I promise Lorna, that you put de, oh god, I don't know if I can say it. My mouth doesn't like to say things wrong. Hold on. <laughs> you put deprecate instead of decrepit. <laughs> you put de, deprecate. <laughs> Just keep typing it wrong and make her say it. I'm loving it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I did use restraint, you guys. I promise I did. Oh, my gosh. Did you guys, if you guys are looking at the wild orchid stamps, did you see all the farm animals? I think that one's adorable. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want that one. for Because wouldn't that be cute on, like, the grain sacks and make the throw pillows again? The grain sacks that have the stripe up the middle and then do the, the farm animals. You know what I mean? I think it'd be really cute. Okay, so explain to me what this stuff is supposed to be doing. It's, okay, see how it's not, it's thicker in places than others? Yeah. I'm using it, I don't think I'm using it correctly yet. Um, I don't think I should have tapped it all over like I did. I should have gone for the, the heavier, chunky look down in the crevices. Okay. I should not have gotten it all over the place. Okay. So that's what I was trying to do on the flower, but I couldn't figure out how to get it down in. And I think I'm just using too big of a brush. I'm going to have to stand up and find a smaller brush. I think that would make. Decre yeah. Decrepit. Yes. Decrepit. P-I-T. Yeah. I think a smaller yeah. brush would make all the difference in the world. Okay. Let me throw this paper towel away. And that one is fine. I just need to make a little bit of space before I get grumpy because I have no room. Yeah, I think, oh, there it is. Okay. I'm like, she's talking to Sandy. I'm like, I didn't say see Sandy say anything. <laughs> maybe up there. I thought maybe Lorna was going loopy over there. I did rocking chairs. Who did rocking chairs, Linda? Jamie Ray? Yeah. 
Yes, they are buddies. Yep, yep, yep. And Crystal, um, says it's the same concept as the artesian powders you have, Patty. Just yeah, but, my eye. But see, I don't know how to use those correctly either. So, like I said, this is all learning curve stuff for me. Um, exactly, Lorna. That's it. Decrepit. Yes, and I don't mind. I mean, I have no problem coming on here and you know winging it and figuring it out. It's fun to have you guys in chat. And so now, what do I want to put over this? Now, do I need to go grab my waxes? What do I put over this? I can't help you with this because you're using stuff I've never used. And no, I'm not going down that rabbit trail. I'll stick with what I have. Right. So. Do you put something over the decrepit? Yes, Angela put a big okay. in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to grab my waxes. Yes, waxes. It Does it dry that fast? It's a powder. Did I not say that part? It's a powder. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. This is a powder. The decrepit is a powder. Um, okay. I was like, wait, what is she so confused about? Yeah, it's a powder. Okay. I thought it was, oh, I thought it was like a paint stuff you were using. And then those chunks, like, like on furniture with like big, you know, big, mold, big, deep moldings and stuff. Yeah. If you, you can use the bigger chunks in there. I mean, you can break them up if you want to, but if you can get those worked down, like the big claw feet and things like that, yeah. it helps add that I've been in a, in a, in a barn somewhere for the last 200 years. I'm clean, but grubby kind of thing. Makes sense. I can see you. I'm looking at you like, why are you not responding to my yeah. Yeah. facial expression? <laughs> If you guys could only see, because I'm like, I I I'm making, my facial expressions are totally matching my voice. And I'm looking right at the, like, why are you not responding to me? Oh yeah. Cause she can't see you stupid. Yep. So you're putting powder on top of powder. I want to do. Yeah, I'm going to try to do, I'm going to put some of this rose down and then I'm going to come back with some gold. Maybe I am. I don't know um, if I can get it to like. Yes, I did read it to her crystal. Um, but I'm trying not to brush off what I just put on. Does that make sense? Yes. But I want to see if I can make this like a chunky verdigris. And if it's not successful, successful. So, see, I can't do it. It won't come out. Um, then I'm going to practice it off screen later. See if I can figure it out. I showed restraint too. Just got the two you got paid. Okay. I When I first read it, it didn't make any sense. Good restraint there, Angela. Yeah, good job. And I'm discovering sometimes it's fun not to buy everything you want when you want it because then there's nothing to look forward to next week or next month. The I think I'm picking up all the powder. I feel like my I, I did something wrong. Maybe I was supposed to come are. over Maybe I was supposed to buff that. Was I supposed to buff that, Nikki or Crystal, who's ever there? Was I supposed to buff out that decrepit and just leave the chunky stuff in the grooves and take the rest of it off? Because look how fat my little brush got. See how fluffy that little booger is? And it shouldn't. I feel like I picked up all the decrepit into my brush. Is that what happened? Or am I just making excuses? Okay, so now, is Lorna still here? When has there ever been fun? Wait, 
When has there ever been fun? And there is always something to buy, especially around Patty. <laughs> now that was that's Lorna. Okay. And Nikki said, Patty, what yeah. you say? Restraint? Don't buy what I want? Question mark, <laughs> question mark, question mark. You know, we work hard so we can have things. That's my approach. Okay, so Lorna, let's see if I remember the verdigris recipe, shall we? I'm coming in with the bronze. I did the rosy underneath. I'm going to come in with the bronze, and then the green, and then lots of blue. Lots of blue. Right? See if I remembered. You are all very expensive girls to hang out with. <laughs> That's right, Lorna. <laughs> hey, mine was easy. Mine was tracing paper. How expensive is that? <laughs> and and Alex Flexcock. That's pretty cheap, too. <laughs> yeah, but Lorna, just look at the dual duty you'll get out of these molds. You can make really fancy chocolates for Christmas next year. You'll just wow everybody with your beautiful edibles. Because you have a dishwasher and you can sanitize them. Okay, so here's here's Crystal's answer. If you apply thick in cracks, then it will look old and grungy after several coats. Okay, after several coats. But technically, what am I supposed to be coating? Since it's actually made for the furniture, then then paint right not really waxes or can i still get the same look with the waxes or am i just trying to achieve something that's not going to happen how's that for a lot of right, champagne on a beer budget that's right <laughs> Ooh, been there and done that oh that's and lorna says ha 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 with chocolate wax seals yep yes and yes paula, paula says buff hi paula Hey, Paula. You can also peel up chunks. She said you can also peel up chunks after a few coats. I'm so confused. Okay. I know what she means. Oh, Paula said she said buff between coats. Yes, buff, 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 buff. Everybody's got, saying buff now because I guess that's the word. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so since I didn't, I will. She says the wax will just adhere. It thicker than paint will in cracks. Gotcha. See, I knew I was missing a step. I, I really don't feel really confident right now reading this stuff in chat with the cracks and the buff and you know. And It'd all. be all right. Not meant for kids. We don't care if it's inappropriate. And then Crystal says, but then it will peel up the reveal color underneath in places like a wet distress. Okay, so here's what we have so far. That looks really cool. More green, right? More green and then blue. Yes, ladies? I know nothing about verdigris, so. But it did, see how it, it doesn't want to pick it up. But like down in the crevices there, it did, the, the it did grunge. Yeah, it did. I'm not reading any of those ladies. You can just read them amongst yourselves. <laughs> God, it looks great. Okay, yes, more green. Oh, okay. that is beautiful. Looks great. Looks great. And yes, for blue and green. Yes, more okay. green. Loving. Okay. So more green. So the green and then buff and then blue and then buff. Yes. So with the wax, the key is the buff. See, I think that's the part I was missing last time. I am here, Angela. <laughs> you don't need to see me. <laughs> right, late. Yes, yes, Laurel, wax in between layers of the wax. I mean, buff in between the layers of the wax, yeah, right? I think so, yes. 
Okay. In between colors, I guess, is what I'm Phil, saying. Phil in, Phil's in crevices like the dirt has just built up. Yep. Yeah, that's what the decrepit is supposed to do. Yeah. Lots of junk in the trunk. Oh, my God. You guys are killing me. And and Lorna says Patty's cracks are coming along nicely. Yay. Oh my gosh, you guys, some of you don't know. I fell down the stairs last week and broke my bum. So, well, actually, that's not true. I didn't fall down the stairs. I fell on my stairs and bounced down them. So there's been that interesting healing process going on. That's right, Angela. So you better be quiet. Um, Crystal says you can even mix powders in the wax, then apply, Patty. Oh, my gosh. Let's not overcomplicate it. I'm new at this, remember? Slowly, slowly. Ooh, I'm liking that with the green. Good call, you guys. Yes, more green. Look, look, it needed the green. Yep, that looks awesome. So now buff, lightly buff, right? Because I don't want to take off all the green. I just lightly buff. We're voting Laurel lightly buff. Oh, oh I, I guess. Okay. We're going to lightly buff and then do blue. Oh, my God, Patty. What from your all-nighter resin for? Huh. Are we rubbing and buffing cracks? Oh, geez. See? That's why the falling down the stairs with the broken bum. Sometimes I take those out of context now. <laughs> they have new context sometimes. She's like, hey, I'm just giving you options. <laughs> <laughs> You're just sending her down more rabbit trails, Crystal. <laughs> okay, so there it is buffed after the green. So now I'm going to do the blue, right? Lauren says, it's a new workout, Nikki. Rub, buff, and crack. Repeat. <laughs> <laughs> now it looks patinaed. Yeah, that looks insane. Okay, so now we're going to do the blue to see if we can get vertigo. Vertigo? I have vertigo. I don't think you want it. No, vertigree. Vertigree. It's yeah. Vertigo. I I was like, why are you making fun of me? Vertigo. And then I was like, wait, not nauseous, ding dong. <laughs> oh, my God. Crystal says, my hubby just asked, when you fell down the steps, did you hit your head on every step all the way down? LMAO. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, he said he doesn't think you're telling the whole story. <laughs> I'm kind of not telling the whole story. He's absolutely. Oh, right. Um, Let's see. You know how Laurel always tells us when she falls, whatever she has in her hands, she can't let go of to brace herself. So I was going down the stairs and I had both hands full of like, do you know how, like, from your hand, I mean, I've got long arms. I'm 5'9". I've got long arms, right? So from my hand to my elbow, in my left hand, I've got, like, a stack of, like, a couple of boxes. And I don't remember what was on top. But a few different things, right? Then in this hand, or this arm, I had a basket. And then coming up out of the basket was, like, some linens and stuff that I wanted to wash, so, and a coffee cup and a coffee cup in my right hand. So I'm like, the basket is like, you know, between my forearm and my upper arm with the basket and then the box of stuff and the coffee cup. So here I go down the steps, you know, somehow I caught the front edge of the step with the very heel of my socked foot and my foot slid right off that step. And as I started to slide off the step, all this stuff started going and I was like, <gasps> and you don't want to drop anything because nothing's breakable, but I can't drop it because something might break. Right. That's our mentality. No. So I had a hold of everything landed square on my bum and legs straight out. I mean, literally my feet went out from under me, landed flat down, hung on to everything and didn't drop a thing. Coffee cup was still tightly grasped right in the right fist and bounced down like five or six more steps. <laughs> yeah. 
Crystal says, he said, told you, LOL, tell her she don't have to lie to kick it. <laughs> yep, exactly. Oh, no, there was no lying. I just figure why totally embellish it if nobody really wants to hear. <laughs> but yeah, it was, oh my gosh. And it was funny and painful all at the same time. All at the same. And I keep visually, visualizing. Visually. We've got all yeah, these. Visually. I'm, you know what? It's petty vocabulary today. Um, I keep visualizing what it must have looked like if you could have seen me coming down the steps, legs straight out, all this stuff, and what my face probably looked like. That's um, I keep envisioning what it had to look like the other day when I missed that step in the garage and holding on to my teacup and my backpack and yep. slamming the floor with one knee and then my face slammed into the garbage can. <laughs> That was crazy, though. You hit hard on some. Oh, my, my knee is still Oof. sore. Yeah, I see, I'm just fighting a sore time. bone. Yeah. And then Michelle, she came, and there's a cup, not just Michelle, but like, you really should go to the hospital and get an x ray. And I'm like, it's not like they're going to cast it or right. you know, break a toe. They take two toes. What are they going to do for a broken tailbone? Nothing. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. You're right. It's just going to hurt and it just has to heal. So I'm not going to go just to find out. Yep, you really did. Uh, okay, great. Thanks. That makes me feel so much better. So what do you guys think? Done or do more? I'm going to yeah, go. Ladies, it's like a, I'm like the klutz of the world. It's not an uncommon thing. Trust me. I fall and wipe out all the time. <laughs> she does. No joke. She does. She's always bruised up. Paula says, hi, Patty Laurel. Sorry, I'm really not here. Okay. She's here, but not here. We got right. it. Cool. Yeah, and it is. I have my sister. I have this thing. Like, I've been moving furniture, a dresser down the stairs and start to fall. And my body does not know how to let go. I can't let go of stuff. I grasp it even tighter. That's the problem. You know, what I'm learning the more I do these and with Lorna hollering more blue, more blue. I hope it will pick it up. I kind of see a face, Paula. Do you see the different layers of where like you can see green and then you don't That's see green and bit. then you see blue and then you see blue. That's, that's what I'm liking about this. This is the part that's fun to me. The learning how to, do this on these things, not on a table leg with, because this isn't the same waxes and paints and things that I'm used to working with. So it's fun for me to try to make that adjustments between textures. And like with paint, I would have to let that dry in between all these layers and like go get a putty knife to scrape it off and things like that. This is like instant gratification fun. Everybody loves it. Um, Hi, Robin. Oh, Jennifer, ask my sister. My brain goes faster than the rest of me, and I slam into doors all the time. <laughs> like it's magically just going to open. <laughs> She's a mess, you guys. A mess. Everybody absolutely loves it. Thank you, you guys. And the other thing you're going to learn about me is I'm not going to laugh at you if I wouldn't laugh at myself. So if I do something really dumb, I'm going to come share it because funny is funny. And I'm just, I'm just put, that's just me. I just feel like funny is funny. And it, you, Candy. so do I, it kind of looks like a dragon face. Oh, I didn't think this. Yes. Look at it straight on. It does, but I would have never seen that if you guys hadn't said that. I would have never seen that otherwise. That's pretty cool. I never thought about that. Interesting. I would have never seen that promise. I like it. I want to do some more gold. I got to do some more gold. Which brush did I use? Does anybody remember which brush I used? No. Okay, then I'm grabbing a new one. Oh, I broke my little toe so bad that I broke it and sent the bone sideways. So now oh, I'm God. permanently sideways on my foot and my whole entire foot was purple. And do you know how hard it is not to swear 
when you hurt, you know, the, the words you have to come up with when you do something like that. You know how much easier it is to just use the words yeah. that naturally want to flow? I see oh. a goat face with trees for ears. Yeah, everybody's seeing it. Nice. Yeah, I, once you said it and you were like, turn that around. And I was like, yup. But I would have never seen it without you guys pointing it out. Paula said a, a, a goat or a ram. And Jennifer says, I see a bad face. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks kind of cool. Kind of maybe a gargoyle face, maybe. Right. Andy says it looks demonic. Okay, now we're getting a little out there, people. I have to go to bed soon. I need happy, positive thoughts. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Laurel wants a fairy tale, ladies. Uh, Lorna, you should see me. I'll be like, I'll hurt my, like when I fell down the other day into the garage, I'm like, jeepers, cripe. <laughs> <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> or son of a biscuit. <laughs> okay, so that's the one that has... Andy, she's like, okay, a cute demon. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that's the one with the golden ticket on top of the green and gold. Um, and it's picking up way more gold than what's really there. The colors are still really there, I promise. Where's it at? Yes, they are. And Jennifer says, not bad. I meant bat. I see a bat face. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, a bat. That's a good one, Jennifer. Yes, it does look like a bat. I like this res this resin. The mica in the resin. Yeah. Cuz you don't got to worry about it rubbing off when you're doing other stuff. Right. Like Wow, we both got really quiet there. I'm just watching. <laughs> I'm just trying to hit where I didn't have Micah. There. Love it. And it picks up just enough of the gold. I, yep. I yeah, this golden ticket is going to be some awesome stuff. It's going to be my new go-to. I can just see it. Is there a silver ticket? Because I really like that one. <laughs> nope. No, because I would be more naturally drawn to the silver too. Nope, not yet. Not that I'm aware of. Crystal says, glad you tried the mica and like it, Patty. I do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, can, does it have to be mica or can I, oh, those powders that I got. What are the name of those powders I got from you? Those, go ahead. I was going to say, it's not the front, front. Frontage. It's the other one she said earlier. Yes. I didn't remember what she said. Can I use those in the bottoms of the molds? It's the same as those. I'm trying to repeat it in my head to see if I remember. Because she said I'm supposed to use them like I use the decrepit, which is nice to know because those have color and this is white. Right. Crystal says, do you have vintage silk wax, Patty? Because if you just kissed it a bit, you would freak. No, I don't. I do not. 
but I am going to be looking around in my furniture stuff and see. Um, I know I have some waxes and some cool paints and stuff like that. So I do think I'm going to be pulling a lot of that stuff out and playing around with it and see. Um, Thank you. Yeah, the artisan. Yep. Thank you. Can I put those in the bottoms of my bowl? It'll pull. work, but it'll give it a flat look. That's okay, because then I can come over it to do the verdigree, right? Lorna says, my family took me to the art store uh, on the weekend and said, pick what you want for Christmas. So I went around sh shop, the shop doing a lot of pointing. <laughs> I would have too. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, don't ask me twice. Yes, please. And thank you. Yeah, and that's kind of like when I went and got these molds yesterday. You know, Jim was with me and he, he, we got out to the truck and I said, do, you don't need to wrap these. I'm fine. They don't even need to go under the tree. Thank you. So, you know, it was my Christmas. I was cool with it. And it's exactly what I wanted. And I didn't even know it till I got there. <laughs> That's kind. It is. It makes me really super happy. I have this stuff and I threw away all of, I can never remember what it's called. The ones that dry out all the time and everybody's like, oh, put glycerin the in it. wax. Yeah. And I never remember to buy. Yeah. And I never remember to buy the glycerin. glycerin. So I threw those away. I was well, just. You could have just added water and used a brush and they would have. I tried and it didn't do anything. It did nothing. I promise you. I put a baby wipe in there and left it for like 24 hours. I came back. The baby wipe was still wet. Oh, the stuff was still like a rock. So I was like, forget it. I'm done. So I'm just going to pick them up again um, when I have coupons or whatever. But I do love this stuff. It's like soupy. I have stuff like that too. It's like a melty wax consistency is what it makes me think of. Um, but this, it, it's, I don't know if I got it at Hobby Lobby or where I got it. But it's called Lux Paint, but it's like mm -hmm. super, I don't know, creamy. Yep, I have it. I love this stuff. Yeah. If you want like a gold glittery look, this is, I really like this. And it's, a, it's, um, it's not like that obnoxious fake yellow gold in your face color. It dries really nice. I have, I have that. Yeah. Do you like it? I really like the color of it when it dries. I'm not a gold person. I like copper and pewter and stuff, but I don't like like purple and silver. I like colors with silver, teal and silver. I'm not a, a gold kind of person. Yeah, I'm not usually into gold either, but I am right now. Sandy, that's a genius idea. I was going to say that earlier, but I thought I'd save it. <laughs> but I think I would have to cut. I would have to cut most of them because like this one's a nine inch length. Yeah. I have a pretty good wrist and I think nine inches would, I, I, if I made like a bangle out of this, I don't think I could get my hand in a nine inch. This one's still pretty flexible. I don't know why it dried that way, but it did. Crystal said, then you need to look at the Prima paste paint. Okay. I can do that. Yeah, exactly. I, it's it's the weirdest color gold, right? It's super hard to explain, but I do like it because it doesn't have that like crazy fake junky gold color. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer. You know what? I re This really is fun to me. And I really am trying to learn how to do this and chat with you guys. But I knew I was not going to be able to do this and read chat. The other night I did really good. Tonight, not so much. Um, that's why I was like, hey, Laurel, I'm going on. Do you want to go? And she's like, sure. And I was like, click. Because <laughs> I knew that I was going to be all like. <gasps> so, yeah, I was pretty happy when she said yes. We all know I like to talk, so that's not an issue. Well, when Patty's like this, I'm not sure you get your talking out of your system. Right. <laughs> oh, and so this is the one, remember the one I over poured and I said, Crystal, don't look. So this is how easy it is. This is how it comes out. And you just, it just all just peels off. Because I scraped across it. So I'll come back in and um, file it. Scraped what? I'll come in and file it just a little. 
Because you scraped what? A popsicle stick. What did I say? Across. Oh, across it. Sorry. Across it. Across it. Lorna. Yes, I scraped across it. There you go. Um, so then it just, there's like a lip on the mold. So it breaks it. So it just peels off super easy. <laughs> Laurel's always a rock star. Always. Always, always. So, anywho, you guys, I'm going to get off here because I know Laurel needs to get to bed. And um, I want to straighten some of this up and get back to pouring. And um, I'll have some of this stuff um, packaged up for you guys tomorrow. And um, we'll look at resin. And if you guys want resin, cool. Um, otherwise, maybe I'll drag it out and we'll paint if we want to hang out longer or something. But we'll figure it out. Michelle and I will be here tomorrow night. Yep, because she's going to go down a rabbit trail right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to not paint all of... But, you know, I do have a lot that I could... Look, look, there's only a few in there to paint. I could paint. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, Nikki. Yes. See, I'm so bad. I'm like that person that forgets to even introduce people to each oh, other. She, she's been putting it in the chat. Okay. Really, really am. But I like my ticker. For any of you that use StreamYard, it's under. It's in the banner thing, and there's like a little box that you have to click, and it says "Make it a ticker." And so you click that, then you type in what you want and save it. And then every time you turn it on, it, it makes it into the ticker. Nice. It's fun. It really is fun. Merry Christmas to anyone we won't see or talk to before then. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Um, probably our usual time, 7. It might, we might push it back to 7.30, but... I did, Louise. I did. I slept all morning. I promise. I slept all morning. <laughs> I slept till noon. I loved every minute of it. So now I'm going to be officially all turned around for several days, but I don't care. So, but anyway, I'll quit babbling and say good night for real. And <laughs> have a good night, everyone. <laughs> we'll see everybody tomorrow night, you guys. Thank you. Angela, I can't believe you're leaving now. I know. And it takes it forever to turn off.